morning guys i'm awake i'm alive i didn't drink too much last night i'm just replying to your comments on youtube i just wanted to say that i love getting your comments every day it's really nice to know that there are so many of you out there actually watching these videos and leaving the comments and they cheer me up no end it's great the postman has just arrived and i've got a box here i think i know what it is i'm going to show you like an unboxing <laughs> i am still in my pajamas here and this is my blanket i always call it the fraggle blanket because it keeps me nice and cozy and it stops me having to put the heating on <gasps> oh so exciting let me just check i just take my address stuff out of this box oh it's mainly these annoying little foam balls this is what's actually in the box oh it's quite big mm, it's got all bits of that polystyrene stuff on it let me zoom there we go now you can see it this is an easter egg like a super thick luxurious easter egg this is kind of a spoiler because i'm doing an easter a video with my favorite easter eggs and it's not going to be up until next month but I'm just um, in the process of getting the, the eggs in and oh, I really want to open it now. Easter eggs for breakfast is not a good idea and I need to film a video with it but hotel chocolate chocolate is just amazing and um, this Easter egg, uh, maybe I shouldn't like keep going on about it now because there's going to be a whole video about it but this Easter egg has like the thickest dark chocolate, it's, it's really good. This is plastic people and I think I'm going to be able to get the greenhouse panels from here but I'm not sure what size they are, so I really need to go to the plot, but it's raining. It's been a miserable rainy day today, so I didn't get to go to the plot, and I kind of do need to go and measure up for the polycarbonate. I'm, I just don't know how much, so what size the greenhouse is at all, so I can't even like roughly estimate how much it's gonna cost. Um, when we were buying glass, because we did have to replace a few pieces of glass, it wasn't that much. I think it was only a couple of, a couple of pounds for a pane. Um, so I'm hoping the polycarbonate comes out to be a similar price. Because it's such a miserable cold day, I'm going to do the lamb shanks tonight, which I think will be a lovely warming dish. So I'm just about to fry those off now just to brown them. I've got some shallots, some celery. This is just like the ends of the celery that needed using up. Quite a lot of ginger. Trevor and I write, like it quite fiery, but that you know, just according to taste, um, mushrooms and some red peppers. And the red peppers are chopped quite coarsely because they do, they are in there for a long time. So they go reduced to not so much. Also in here, I've got two jars of passata and 300 mils of beef stock. It's uh, this callow beef stock. I like beef stock with this lamb because I think it's just a, a richer stock. And this is a dish that needs something that was going to stand up to it. I'm also putting in this balsamic vinegar. It's just a sample really that needs using up but I also think that'll give it a nice bit of flavour. And then I also put a little bit of cinnamon and again garlic salt. I've been going through that garlic salt because I haven't got any um, fresh garlic. There's not a lot of that in there. So the shanks are kind of browned and then this is going to, I'm just going to stir it up so they're covered over. This is going to go in the oven with the lid on for two hours at least. I'm serving the lamb shanks with cannellini mash. So this is just a can of cannellini beans. I'm going to mash those up. To mash them, I'm just using a fork, kind of bashing them against the side because they're canned ones. They're really soft anyway. If you were making it from um, dried, you'd need to soak and boil the cannellini beans first. I'm just warming those through in the pan now. And I forgot about this. I did actually have... Um, God, I've got this garlic butter from last year when I went wild garlic picking. So I'm going to put two pats of this butter into there and it's frozen but it will melt down and go nicely, give that a nice flavour. It's ready guys. I have to tell you, I'm, oh, I'm dropping it. I'm pretty excited about this one. The lamb shanks look really good. This sauce is really nice and thick. I am so full now. There was actually quite um, a bit of the sauce left over, so I've saved that. I might have it with some pasta or maybe some bread just for a lunch to start of next week will be quite good. I've had like the laziest day today. I haven't even left the flat, so I've hardly done any steps. But some days are like that. It's not been very nice weather, so I didn't have any reason that I needed to leave the flat. So I haven't. <laughs> just been a lazy one. Um, 
So yeah, that, that's all for today. I'm going to um, do a secret word which I will put in the info box below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.